folks and uh, welcome uh, to a bit of a double uh, fun packed episode for you guys today. Um, not only have we got our trusty Lexus hybrid gearbox uh, spinning merrily there at about 5 hertz, uh, but this also marks um, one of the first successful tests uh, that I've done with the new inverter uh, desi design uh, which we ran through on the last video. Uh, so on the last inverter video I was showing you guys the various PCB boards. So what we've done so far um, is we have assembled all of those boards tested them uh, individually and together and then built it into my kind of test um, power stage here uh, comprising of 6 uh, CM 600 DY 12 NF um, IGBT modules just some uh, DC bus capacitors um, a DMOC 645 chill plate contactor and just some uh, wires here. So our inverter here uh, has gone through quite a bit of an evolution uh, from the original hardware that we got from Johannes. Um, recently as I described we had a problem with a failed IGBT module and a failed gate driver in their Panzer so I really wanted to get around that and to design out uh, whatever failure modes had caused that to happen. So right now um, we have our our ACPL 337J based uh, gate drivers uh, with the accompanying uh, Murata gate drive uh, DC to DC converters, uh, DSAT detection on both sides of the IGBT. As we can see from these leads here, which are basically sensing the, um, they would be sensing the top side collectors and the bottom side collectors are sensed from the DC positive rail in there. Uh, we've our completely redesigned sensor PCB um, which actually actually think turned out very well with our ACPL C870 based um, isolated voltage uh, DC bus voltage measuring system um, and we have our nice big Lemhas um, 800 amp Hall effect sensors uh, that are just so much easier to get the large uh, di diameter cables through. So moving over here, let me see if I get you guys in a little bit closer. So moving over here now, again with our totally redesigned main PCB uh, with the accompanying Ampseal 35 uh, connect connector and I've got all of my um, wiring harness done for that and uh, it's just such a nice connector to use uh, and it just means that for example here I've made up a folder of all my um, design work but I've got this really nice pin out uh, done here so that just makes wiring up that connector uh, just so much easier um, than previously had been and again I've got you know I've got my bill of materials for all of the boards um, I've got uh, PCB printouts I've got schematics for the whole thing so it's uh, it's been a lot of work but it's been very worthwhile and I've even found now that uh, as I've actually been running the inverter today on various motors and so forth 
that it just seems to be res responding uh, to commands just 100% of the time now. Previously, there were some difficulties. Sometimes a, a signal wouldn't be kind of getting where it needed to be or something like that. So um, it was just very nice to see that the hard work seems to be paying off here. Uh, we have a lot more testing to do on it. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it's just really nice. Now, additionally to that, um, I've also identified some things that I would like to improve upon, uh, particularly on the main PCB. Uh, there are a few spacing issues, Justin, that's just general layout. But one of the things uh, that I kind of missed the, uh, the opportunity on <clears throat> was to uh, change from just a little three or four pin serial connector because that means you have to kind of mess around with a little USB to serial porting there. I'm just going to change that for a standard FTDI um, header. I think it's a six pin and uh, we just use three pins on that and it just uh, makes the serial interface to the control board just so much simpler. Um, so we'll be doing that for the next revision of the main board. Um, but as it stands at the minute, uh, the PCBs that we have are all perfect. Um, there's no mistakes, there's no pins tracked to the wrong um, locations or any kind of problems like that. Um, all of the hardware seems to be working very, very solidly. Uh, in a moment of slight madness this morning when I was running my little 3, three horsepower uh, industrial motor, uh, I, was, I was running it at about 50 volts on the bus at about maybe 40 hertz. I just took a spanner and jammed it into the terminal box. Um, suffice it to say, <laughs> it was a, quite a nasty bang. Um, but the DSAT detection uh, seems to have fired and the IGBT is shut down and uh, no problem so far. Um, now, I know what you guys are st are thinking. Why don't I run it at 400 volts with a big ass motor, wind it up to full power and then drop a spanner in? Well, I'll be perfectly happy to do that if someone wants to donate me uh, a new set of transistors just in case. So, right, that is the inverter. It is inverting uh, at the minute. Again, we're just running our Lexus um, hybrid gearbox here, just running MG2 in open loop mode. Um, keeping in mind that these are not induction motors uh, in this particular uh, product. They're internal permanent magnets. So we don't currently have the hardware or the software to drive an internal permanent magnet motor in closed loop mode. Um, I'm kind of uh, hoping that I might be able to resolve that fairly soon, uh, but that's for that's for another uh, project because I don't have enough projects. I need more of them. So that's it, guys. The inverter uh, with the new hardware is working. And uh, I'm very, I'm very happy with it. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, we'll be, we'll be back soon uh, with some more testing, and uh, we'll be doing some more detailed videos, hopefully on building the hardware also. Um, the gate drivers are now probably ninety percent SMD. Uh, it's nothing to be afra uh, afra uh, afraid of. Um, and I'll show you guys how I solder SMD with about ten bucks worth of uh, equipment. So don't be getting too worried about that. Um, the main board is still a hundred percent true hole. And the sensor board only has, uh, I think, t uh, three SMD parts. Again, um, reason for that being they just don't come in a true hole package. 
So right, that's it guys. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll be back soon with some more Inverter Mayhem.